Now, what we have here is one that's already been took apart and the other one that's not. I'm going to show you the basics of taking one of these things apart here. Okay. Now, instead of taking all this off right now, okay, you have on the back here, you've got four bolts. These have got to come out. That's these right here. Okay, this is the back of the alternator. They come out of right here. And then under this cover, you'll have to carefully just pop the little fasteners off. So be very careful not to damage the coils or any of the connections here, or don't break anything while you're prying. You can see the little clips like that, okay? Of course you'll want to have the pulley off of it already because this part comes off first. Okay, so we'll take these out. There are four of these little screws like this. They're the small weird looking heads I ended up grabbing them with a pair of wire cutters something like this and taking them out because I didn't have I didn't have that style of socket actually if you have that size of socket whatever that is probably better to go ahead and use that one of these has a little grounding sleeve on it that's the one that goes here into the end of the regulator these two take the regulator off these two take the rectifier off okay so after you take all these off Take these out. In order to get this case apart, okay, because these two halves come apart. And in order, you can see that the coil is in this part. That's the part where the pulley goes. And this part is just a cover. Okay, they're together. Um, like this right here. Okay. I've got these wires bent down. Bend them back up here. Okay, you can see that's the way the case goes together, like that. Okay, to get the thing apart, it's kind of a pain with this one, but I went around, I cut these off first. These are the ones that go to there. I just cut those off. You can desolder them. I just cut mine. And as you pry around, start on one side, go around to this side, pry up, pry up, pry up, like that. Keep on going around. And then you may have to take very lightly with a hammer and peck on the shaft. Be careful because this one was already messed up where I couldn't get the nut off of it. I had to grind it just to get the nut off. That might have had something to do with how it tried to deform while I was beating on it, but just be very careful driving the whole thing out 
or it would be even better if you had a wheel puller put a wheel puller on it and just pull it out with that okay now that you have the thing apart you have all your pieces and parts and everything off of it okay this is one thing you need to save this you don't need this, this brush holder and the brushes you don't need them okay this is junk now these wires right here are of course where your three-phase power is going to come from okay the alternator itself, as it's turning, it's applying power to these three terminals right here. These tr three outputs, these come from the coils on the inside. See the coils on the inside there? These three wires deliver a three-phase AC to this rectifier, and the rectifier itself smooths out this AC to DC voltage. Now, with the alternator itself, the way it works in the car, see these brushes right here go into this rotor, and you can see there are terminals right there that correspond with these brushes okay and it uses the input from your voltage regulator right here which regulates the field voltage right here changes the amount of voltage going into these contacts which runs to this coil right down in here now this coil is what magnetizes these right here so to make a permanent magnet or the, the way that I did it last time to make a permanent magnet alternator was well I've got a magnet right there I took and grinded out enough metal right here the other ones that I used last time these were strong the other ones that I used last time were square. These are round. But they will still work. Ground out enough for the magnet to recess down in there and still not hit the coils. Alright, so I'm doing this one exactly the same as I did the one before. Um, now I had square magnets in the other one on the, other, on the old water wheel. This one, I have these round ones. Uh, ended up, I don't even know where I got those, but I had them, so. Now, this is the idea right here. Put them on there. Actually, that's got to go back a little farther. But you want it to be below that level, so I have to go down a little more. Go down, and I actually have to go that way a little bit. So, I'll keep on grinding on this. Let's see what we can do. Okay, there's one. You can see now how it sits down below the, well, it used to sit down below the level of the plastic before I chipped that out. But, <laughs> yeah, the level of this magnet is lower than the level of this plastic. So, you can see these other ones are like that too. And that's pretty much all you do. You just go all the way around, grinding this out. And then what you'll do, you'll epoxy these magnets on. Let me show you what's left of it here. See there. Not a whole lot left. In fact, this part right here is useless. That's really how much is left right there. So you just have this little edge right here to actually... Um, 
have for the magnet to sit on. And then what you'll do is just continue around. Do this one, this one, this one, all of them. There's 12 of them. And once you get them all done, you can epoxy your magnets in. Okay, now we have it grinded out all the way around. And all of them are recessed down so that the magnet will sit down in there, just like that. And it will be below the level of the coil. So, all we do now, put magnets around it, all the way around in each one. What you end up having to do, though, you end up having to put some epoxy on each of these and epoxy the magnets in but you'll want to just stick them in there and try it first and make sure it spins inside of the alternator casing to make sure it doesn't hit anything. Now I am not at all satisfied with the round magnets for this. Um, I'm, I actually just have this taped in right now just to give you a demonstration show you how it works but I am going to be ordering some square magnets and I'm going to be ordering more than what it takes. Okay? You can see the round magnets under there. I guess you can kind of see that. See the round. Now what you'll do is line up your poles, north and south poles with uh, these pieces. Okay? And since this is temporary, then in order to uh, hold it all together, I've used the handyman's secret weapon, duct tape. Y'all let me know if you know where I got that from. I'm sure a lot of you do. <laughs> anyway, let's slap this in our casing here. And give this a try okay so the way we have everything hooked up we should be able to spin this and generate some power because we have our permanent magnet alternator here this thing chucked in here and now I don't know how fast that I've got to spin it before it will start working. Now, I don't want to burn my inverter up if I put too much out. So I'm going to start slowly. And I'm going to just ease my way up until it starts lighting up. I think I bent that shaft on the end of this. I don't know how fast this is going to spin before it starts turn this on so I'm I'm just going to ease into it and once I get up to speed it should start putting out enough voltage to turn this on and should have enough to run this light this doesn't take much I mean it's a very low wattage bulb it's a little four, uh, compact fluorescent so it doesn't take much voltage but the fact that it'll run it'll take uh, AC from here Convert it to DC in here, convert it back to AC in here, <laughs> and then run the bulb. Yep. Well, let's try and see what we can do here. Let me pick it up here. Hmm. Well, that kind of fell. That's all right. Kind of messed this shaft up a little, I think. So it shakes a little, I'm just going to hang on to it. I 
Vamos ao manifesto. Ok, so. That works. All right. So, that's how I converted, well, the, the uh, previous alternator, I converted the same way, but that's how I convert my regular alternators to PMA alternators. I guess just PMA, because the A stands for alternator. I appreciate everybody watching, and I'll see y'all on the next one.